Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is me, the Bat Brand, back with a brand new series on this channel. It is a Nuzlocke. It is the Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke brand new series, and I'm excited for this, guys. I don't know about you. If you guys are, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share my videos, please. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Now, um, we are here to find out which three starters we're gonna get. Um, first off, we have Flaffy. That's not bad. A Spiro. Or a Winkle. I think it's very clear we're gonna go with Flaffy here. No other Pokemon other than Flaffy, really. Uh, we're gonna nickname her. Or oh no, it's a him. Um, name him Thor. Please pick the Wingle. <laughs> he picked a freaking Wingle. Oh, and I nicknamed my rival after my good buddy Clint. And this should be very interesting. I should defeat him in one hit, right? Especially if I have Thundershot. Please tell me I have Thundershot. So how's everybody doing? It is uh, Christmas weekend. It is uh, Saturday. Um... Christmas is right around the corner, so I thought I'd put out some stuff for you guys. Uh, put up a new episodes of Boo F Boo's, Boo's Fury up on the channel. And I thought, you know what, I need a new series. Uh, Emerald obviously ended. I won my first ever Nuzlocke. And it felt satisfying that I almost wanted to do another one. Where I did better than I did the last time. So I was thinking, why not... Do red, a randomized red version. Um, I'm hoping I don't fail this, but we'll see how it goes. You have, you have trace. Why do you have thunder punch? Don't do these things have all randomized moves? They have all randomized moves, really? That's interesting. So, literally, they can have any moves. So, how randomized is this game? Are the evolutions randomized? Like, is everything randomized in this game? Because if that's the case, it's gonna be nuts. So he has the rock head ability and that thing has a trace ability. Get out of town. Let's check him out. You're holding something. What are you holding? What are you, you're not holding anything, are you? Oh, you're holding TM24? Okay. Whatever that is, let's check. Counter. You're not able to learn it, but that's okay. Of all the things it was holding, it's holding a counter. Okay. So, Flaffy, Thor the Flaffy. Pretty good stats. It seems like it's more of a special attacker. It has the rock head ability? Dude. So there are randomized abilities. And randomized moves, too, it seems. Uh, I need to get rid of Parasol. <laughs> Actually, that would be pretty good. Unless it's Switch. Okay. So that would be pretty good. Because I could do a Parish song. I could do a Parish song. And then switch out Thor. So that's pretty good. Gains power the fewer HP the user has compared with the foe. That's really good, too. He is a perfect moveset. What could have happened if I chose the freaking Spearow? 
That would have been interesting. Now, obviously, the Nuzlocke has not begun because we do not have the um, the Pokeballs. So, so we just gotta head forward to Viridian. So we could potentially get a Natsu. I'm gonna take, the, you have Drizzle? Get out of here. They all have randomized abilities. Dude, I'm kind of excited to see what we get. Dude, randomized abilities, randomized encounters. And they can even have randomized TMs too, where they get, are those randomized? No, I don't think. Dude, that would be nuts. Another Nautu. So it seems like a lot of Nautus are in here. This one doesn't have the drizzle ability. Like the other one had. Oh man, Thor's getting those all important levels. Which I'm gonna have him keep getting. Oh my god, if we could get a Cyndaquil in this route. Oh my lord, that would be wonderful. I would love that. That would be... Oh, wow. Yeah, I am training up. Because, obviously... I mean, I know red version... Uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, I know they're... Oh, God, if we got it done. Ugh. I hope we don't, but... It has randomized moves, so it could be... Com it could have completely different moves than what I'm familiar with. No, no. So, we'll see. I mean, I could really get... I'd be okay with anything. Yeah, I think I, I'm the kind of guy. I think I'll be okay with really anything. Just to add it to the team, and see what I get. You know, dude, we get a Cyndaquil. It's gonna be awesome. I'm just saying that right now. Oh, and I'm planning on doing um, a series of after Boost Fury's done. I want to do another series um, of, uh, not a Nuzlocke, but a Let's Play of Pokemon Clover. Uh, I've been talking about it on the channel for some time. And I think that I should try it, see what happens. I know there's a lot of Fakemon in it, and um, there is also, a lot of them are offensive and... <laughs> And funny, so and it's a very funny game, so I'll play it just for the fun. Oh god, if we get a Sunflora, I would probably cry. I don't want a Sunflora. But I'm just using this time to level up Thor. Giga Giga Drain? So the moves it learns is even randomized? Parish Song is very risky. Wow, that's nuts! That's freaking nuts! Wow, like... You get randomized... Wow. Yes, I did come from Pallet Town. How nice of you to know. And you can take this parcel and shove it up your rear. Um. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back. We're gonna catch our first Nuzlocke Pokemon. Probably get two, maybe three. Dude, we can get three. Woo! 
Woo! And my goal is we're going to have a great team going into the Elite Four. I know the Elite Four here. I know Gen 1. It should be very easy, especially since we got Thor as our starter. We keep Thor through the end, my boys. It's game over because Thor's got an amazing moveset already. I'm just surprised it gave it Thunderbolt. That's freaking awesome. And just so you know, the Nuzlocke has not begun yet. Um, we're getting, uh, as soon as I get the Pokeballs, it will begin. So, I'm taking this time right now to level up Thor. So he, um, can get those all-important levels. Because I'm also going to end the episode on a, um, uh, with a, uh, rival battle against my boy Clint. And I want to see what he's got. Because that Wingull, if he keeps the Wingull, I'm pretty sure he'll keep that Wingull throughout the entire playthrough. Because it is a starter. There's a lot of Cyndaquil, so I, I really think we're going to end up getting a Cyndaquil. I really think we're going to get a Cyndaquil, guys. I, oh, baby. Dude, that would be a perfect combination along with Thor. Ooh, some Johto guys. Yeah, there's a lot of Cyndaquils in here. I seem to be finding quite a bit of them. The goal is I'm just going to get Thor to 10. And then... Jump. We're almost there, guys. I, I'm sorry. I know I'm getting distracted by um, not staying focused on the task at hand. But, um, but don't worry. We're going to get there. We're going to get our first Nuzlocke Pokemon very, very shortly. All right. Level 10. We reached our goal there. And now, go back in a pallet. Here we are, back in my good old hometown. And now we're going to go talk to Professor Suck My Anus. I mean, Professor Oak. I meant Professor Oak. Um, so he's going to give me the Pokedex. Oh, Clint. It just seems so funny, because... He, I mean, he understands. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Clint, Clint. Clint's awesome. It's just I know Pokemon a lot, and he. I don't think he does. He knows it enough. I mean, like he grew up with it, but like, like, it's funny that he picks a Wingull, and my thing is super effective against it. It's. It's gonna be a fun let's play. I, I think it's going to be. And I got my five Pokeballs. Only five. Oh, uh, I don't care. I, yes, I... Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to get a time map, too. But... I'm going to go get the town map from Daisy, I think her name is. Yes, thank you, Daisy. Thank you. And then I'm gonna go talk to my mom. Because I need to tell her I'm leaving on a very long journey. Mom, I'm leaving. Oh, screw you, bitch. Oh, what? What, Mom? What did you say to me? I heard that, too. She called me something I didn't want to know. I didn't want to hear. Okay. Let's see if we can make it through. Okay, and our first Nuzlocke Pokemon will be... A Nautu. I'm not upset about that. I'm not. Nautu is power. Endeavor should not... Uh, yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna kill this thing. It's gonna die. In this twister. No way. What do I use without killing it? Giga Drain shouldn't kill. I say, and it's probably gonna kill it. Yes! Not to you, beast! Come on to my team. What? I gotta catch this thing now. This thing's about to go use a solar beam? Get out of here now. Please stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball. Thank you, God, because I would have lost an Uzlock right there. Holy crap. Natu. Yes, I'm going to nickname this Natu. Oh, hey, like this thing, I'm going to name, if you guys know what this is from. It's from, I'm going to name her A and name him Aloy. I know it's a girl's name. Let's check this guy out. Psychic flying. With a natural cure ability. No way. That's a really good ability. Fury cutter, twister, bubble beam, and solar beam. You gotta be. You gotta be yanking on my chain. Pulling on my wiener. There's no way. I just got. A level 3 Natu that knows both Bubble Beam and Solar Beam. Dude, if I teach this thing Sunny Day, ooh, game over. Level 3 versus the. Oh, and you. And you boost it under the rain. Oh, bad move, son. Bad move, son. Bubble beam, bubble beep, you're dead. Okay. Bubble beep, you're dead. There we go, not to way to go, Aloy. He should level up. Really, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't level up there. Because I'm going to need to level up Natu. As if you guys have not figured it out yet. I'm kind of glad I didn't get a one with the, with the blizzard. Or not blizzard. What? No. Please don't kill my Natu. <laughs> it's not effective. This, is, I mean, this isn't going to do anything to you. Yep. Holy crap. That did nothing, though. Wow. For a second there, it's just when I see Solar Beam, I just get scared. Solar Beam is a terrifying move. I'm just so I'm so excited for this series, guys. Like, dude, this game is completely 100% randomized. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Even down to the Pokemon, the Pokemon moves are randomized. A Roselia, that would have been interesting. That would have been an interesting mon to get, you know. You're, you're grass, right? So this, let's let's just switch it out. And Thor will hit you with a ice beam and kill you. Mud shot. You shouldn't know mud shot. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. Cause once oh that's the pro that's gonna be the problem in this series. 
I'm gonna have to be cautious because I don't know what moves this the, the mons are gonna have. So I don't know what that they'll that they'll do to me, you know. I could probably teach Well no, probably not. I'm trying to think, I Aloy probably wouldn't be able to learn counter. What? Switch out now. What do you mean you sing those drill pack? How the heck is it no drill pack? I'm just gonna kill this thing now. Yeah. Giga Drain. Woo! Like Ric Flair taught you, boy. Aloy's level 5. Yes. I'm gonna keep leveling up. Aloy. One second, guys. We will be. Alright, sorry, guys. I just did a little quick, uh stuff with uh, uh, my mons just getting them. If I have a rod, I can get an encounter at Viridian. I think. Yes. Now let's see. Are the items dropped in the overworld randomized? They are! That's a lumberry, my dude! Get out of here right now! Oh, yes, give. We're gonna give that to Aloy. Or not Aloy. We're gonna give that to Thor. And we're gonna get our third Nuzlocke Pokemon. And then... I don't think I'm ready for Clint just yet. So let's see what we can get here. A Remoraine. I'm not upset with that either. Remorade is pretty decent. You know Mock Punch? Wow. Is that the only move you know? Dang it, I kind of want to see more. See what else you have. Okay. Um, we're going to catch this thing, obviously. 12 Pokeballs, we'll catch this thing. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, we got him. We got the Remoraid. Yes. Yes, we're gonna nickname him. Oh, it's a girl. So, I'm gonna nickname this thing. After a good friend, Allie. So let's see if this Remoraid is any good. Calm Nature, pretty good. Has the Overgrow ability. Kind of garbage. This thing knows, oh my god. Rain Dance, Mega Kick, Mach Punch, and Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Like. Oh, guys, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grind up the squad. Okay, guys, I've trained up the team. Uh, everyone's at least seven or higher. Let's do this. Hey, Batbrain. You're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. Probably don't even have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Yes, they did. You still have that freaking Wingall? Oh, you have a Porygon. Oh, then that means it's gonna hurt you a lot. That didn't do anything. Spark! Oh, goodbye, Allie. Frickin' great. First death. Ice Beam. Should do quite a bit. 
Wow. That crit mattered. Holy crap, Thor. And Wingall's coming out. So guess who I'm bringing in? No, not Aloy. I could have used Ally there. Darn it. We'll switch out and get that Aloy some experience because I don't see you doing anything. I could, I can, I can do a solar beam. Oh no, please live Aloy. Thank you. Hit him with this solar beam and then switch out. Oh. Lay out speed. Now let's just switch out for now. Because I don't feel like losing anybody. Yep, Thunder Punch is going to do nothing. You, you gain a little bit of XP, or a, a, HP. That's fine. Thunderbolt will kill you. Superpower? Oh my god. Straight throwing out like different moves. Like, jeez. It's kind of hoping not to have a death already, but such is life. Remoraid is pretty fragile anyway. I think there's an item up here. Nope, not that side. Nope. Oh, okay, I thought there was an item there. I always I, I thought there was an item there when I was when I played the original red and blue. Oh a far fetch. Take this bubble beam. Goodbye, Farfetch. I'm gonna get Aloy to 10. Okay, we're back. Uh, I leveled up Thor one level and uh, uh, Aloy's 10 now. So everyone's at 10 or higher. But we got a death. This early on, I really, really didn't want it this early on, but whatever. Let's first get some supplies at the mart. Gonna need some potions. Let's, no, I don't want Pokeballs, I want potions. Yes, three. And then to, I think to wrap up this episode, we'll get an encounter up in the route above and then wrap it up before we get into Viridian or Forest or get a encounter at Viridian Forest. That would be pretty good. Um, move from Pokemon. Remoraid. Death Box. We'll rename this death box. Okay, so we already got one death, but that's okay. We got Aloy the Natu, and we got our boy Thor, the almighty god of thunder, to take care of us. I think we'll be okay. Besides, we're going to get a new encounter in the route above. A new team member will be on the team very, very shortly. And potentially two. We'll see. I think this old man has moved out of the way now. Um. Yes. 
Oh, I shouldn't have talked to him. Stupid old man. What are you gonna do? Yes, you throw a ball at it. One, two, three. Click. Hey, you got it, old man. You got a Weedle. A Teachy TV. Okay, well, thank you. Route 2. What do you say, guys? We get an encounter. Right here. Let's do this. A oh, Gengar! A oh, Gengar! Twister. Oh my god, he flinched. Yes, Gengar! Oh my god, a Gengar on the team? That's incredible. One. Oh, this thing's gonna be very difficult to catch. We'll see. Come on, Gengar. 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 Oh no, no, please don't kill Aloy. Just stop with that. Okay. Um. Pokeball, come on. Come on, Gengar. You want to be on this team? One, come, Gengar, Gang Gengar, okay, Gengar, Gengar, just, okay, just stay in the ball, please, you're gonna be great on this team, one, two, three, click, yes, 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 new member on the team, Gengar, and then there's Rock Blast, Ooh -hoo. Now, what am I going to name you? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm going to name you Shade. So he's throwing Shade. Let's check this Mon out. Ghost Poison, obviously. A special attack. Suction Cup ability. Headbutt, Vice Grip, Brick Break, and Rock Blast? Wow, that's a... That is a very diverse move set. And you know what? We're going to get one more encounter to end this episode, wrap this episode all up, tie with a bow. And we're going to get one of Viridian Forest. So, let's see, where to go first. There used to be an item back there, but I guess not. It's over here. Okay, we're getting our encounter. It's a shelter, okay. I'll, I'm okay with that. Twin Needle shouldn't do that much. And we killed it. Okay. Aloy's too powerful. Sacred Ash? What is Sacred Ash? Revives all fainted Pokemon, restoring HP fully. Oh my god. Are you serious? Guys, <laughs> I have a loophole item. I have a loophole item. Nah, nah, you know what? I'm not going to use it. I'm going to sell it. 
I, I, it's not really fair if I use it. I, I don't think it would be fair. It, if you ask me, I don't really think it would be fair. So maybe I'll just sell the Sacred Ash. No, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Um, so guys, this is all the time I have for this episode. I'm going to save it. This has been an exciting first episode of this series. Like, we got uh, great mods so far, and it's so random. Everything is random. So I'm excited to see what happens here in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two. And as always, stay awesome, my Dark Knights.